Hi, this is Tom Varsi with Military Embedded Systems. I am with Bob Haig at uh, with Crystal Group. How are you, Bob? Great, great, Tom. Great here to be. Great to be here at AUSA. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you've got quite a few new products this year, and you're going to show us the Force Server family, aren't you? Which was actually uh, introduced this week at AUSA. It was. We're, we're really pleased to be rolling out the new product line of our servers. We're going to give you some details here on what we think makes it world class and some of the world's first innovations that have come as part of that. And as part of that, part of our little walkthrough, we're going to show you some of our new uh, switching equipment as well. Great. Let's see it. Let's see it. So let me start. So I think for those of you who don't know Crystal, I want to do just a real brief background because we work hard to take COTS computer processing equipment and ruggedize it for military application. And I, we wanted to show you guys a frame, a chassis, typical of some of our server products. And we really are pride ourselves in the strength, the ruggedness, and quite candidly, if you look at that, look at that, Tom, you can see no board is going to tilt or bend in there as well, too. So sure. we like to always start by you know, sharing with our customers and potential customers what makes Crystal unique. And now if I move forward, we want to show you some of our, some of our new switching equipment. A lot of our customers know that we've teamed with Brocade, now Ruckus, on basically taking their switching equipment and ruggedizing for military application. This is the Brocade ICX7150 product that we've taken. You'll see a similar chassis to what I showed you previously, Tom. And we do a lot of things inside, like put the combo into compounding in place, staking, to really make this survive. And what makes this unique to our industry is we've got a 12 port configuration or 24 port configuration. And a lot of those ports also support power over ethernet. So we can now be powering cameras and the like, bringing that data into here as we see more and more of our customers, particularly in ISR applications, bring more and more sensor equipment in. So we're able to save them putting an extra power supply in the system. And we bring this at, we think, a really nice cost for our market as well. We're excited to introduce our Force product line, our fully optimized rugged computer equipment. We call it the Force. And we're rolling it out here at AUSA. And Tom, I want to walk you through because we're really pleased. And you're going to see it at first blush, we've got a 1U version, a 2U version, and a 3U version. And I want to spend a little bit of time on the 2U version here. And what we think is really cool here is we've really worked on a modular architecture. If you look close here, what we've done here is traditionally where we would have had fixed equipment assigned to particular parts of the system. We now have a modular architecture that lets us put extra storage devices in if a customer needs it. You'll see here a DVD drive. And what we're really excited about, this happens to be a two CPU version that's running, running Intel Skylake architecture and we're able to run this thing and for the work, for the first time ever dissipate almost 300 watts of power. And we do that by introducing a really innovative liquid cooling system. And I want you to take, you, take a close look here because you're gonna see basically where the liquid coolant comes into the system and out of the system. And we've got some really proprietary work we've developed ourselves where we've got cooling components doing some really, really innovative things on each one of those two processors to make sure they're cooled. So it's just amazing that in e each one of those processors, we can run up to 24 cores. Mm. And our testing has showed that the, the heat gain is very minimal. In fact, it's exceeded our expectations. So we, we're proud to roll out the world's first system ability that's able to you know, move that much power out of the system. And that's important for our customers because more and more of our customers are bringing more intensive applications, you know, a lot more hyperconvergence going on as, as customers are trying to integrate more and more capability onto server platforms. And we've always prided ourselves in being able to customize, and now with the modular architecture, and being the world leaders in dissipating heat. Because we know these are deployed on submarines, these are deployed on carriers, Humvees, very rugged environments where they need to survive. So from what I showed you early in the ruggedization techniques we provide in the box, now the cooling for those extreme processing architectures that need a lot of processing. Now, we still have our customers that don't have as intensive processing, so we still have the air-cooled versions, 
that will serve a lot of our customers' needs, but we're really leaping ahead as we see at this show, a lot of our customers bring in more and more heavy, heavy processor and heavy storage needs all integrated into a box. Right. Advanced thermal management, right? Advanced thermal management is the word, and what we want to make sure everybody understands it. We've once again you know, jumped, a, jumped ahead a lot of our competition to be the first, again, the first to dissipate that much heat in a, one, in a 2U and a 1U box. Right, right. Excellent. Well, uh, the Force line, family line looks great. Great new product, and if I can say it, May the force be with you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Tom, for your sure. time, and have a good show. You too. Thank you. Thank you.